Hello again guys, this is Adrian from Escal Tube. So if you used with me with doing other stuff like um, construction things, DIY, cooking or whatever, this video is gonna be something totally different. I said in a comment that I may have a video how I drive the truck, a class one lorry. Uh, how I reverse so I was just thinking it was a guy who replied to my comment and he says yeah I would like to see you down doing that so yeah this is gonna be the video about it so we're gonna go to work now and I'm gonna start filming from my way to work So we going to work now. So guys, I'm gonna show you tonight as I promised. I'm gonna show you how I drive a truck, how I reverse. I'm gonna make a few videos about how I reverse into a bay, how I um Couple and uncoupling the trailer. Yeah, so um, I'm driving to work. So I, I was thinking to start a video like this, driving to work. Something looked like happened here. Police is here. Uh, this camera is new to me, so I'm sorry if I move too much. Um, yeah, so we're very close to work The place where I'm working I'm working as a class 1 driver On a double decker trailer And it's pretty busy This truck is coming from the front Is the company I work for Yay um, It's gonna be pretty interesting night because it's Easter weekend and we're very very busy so that's uh, gonna be a nice video for you guys I don't know if anyone would be interested in this or not but I'm gonna give you some I don't know if I can call them tips I don't know so the video will be called know how to drive a truck not how to reverse because I'm aware of the haters yeah I'm aware of the comments and nastiness that come out of their mind their mouth so this video will be called how I work um, as a lorry driver how I reverse into a bay how I coupling and uncoupling a trailer yeah so this is the place where I'm working um, we're here so okay guys see you later from the cab hello guys so that's me in the truck ready to start uh, I'm driving a Mercedes uh, Mercedes Actros good cab I'll talk to you about it through the video so let's get to work. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, ready to roll. Let's see how much.
when you maneuver this truck uh, you always need to be with the eyes on the mirror always always especially we have a very tight yard very tight yard here so very small yard so. So always watch your mirrors, both mirrors. Okay guys, we don't have to go that far, about 40 minutes driving. So As I said, I'm driving a Mercedes Actros and um, there are things to complain about it and the things you like about it. So if you talk with drivers, with more experienced drivers, they all have different opinions on Mercedes. So there are pluses and minuses. Me, personally, I like Mercedes Actros. Now, I'm telling you something. If you do deliveries, multi-drops, and a busy town, probably this is not the best truck for you. You would go for a DAF CF or a other truck, smaller. If you do Tramping, which means you're gonna sleep in the truck. This is the best truck, in my opinion. It's not the most powerful truck. The gearbox is not very nice all the time. You know, sometimes in the roundabout, he's thinking what gears to to change to. Uh, if we are here about gearbox, I'm just gonna show you something, how I do, so he's not thinking in a roundabout. So, we have a junction in front of us. Here, you have the retarder, so I put the retarder. So if you use the retarder before the junction, it will always have the right gear. No more problems. Soon as you pass the junction or the roundabout, put the retarder off. Um, as I said, it's not the most powerful truck, but if we're talking about comfort for the driver, the cab is massive. I like it. I had a better truck than this before, still Mercedes Actros, the biggest cab, with loads of things inside. I got TV, I got microwave, fridge. This doesn't have really all these things. But yeah, for tramping, I recommend this cab. Mercedes always been on top with comfort, let's be honest about it. Also, Scania Topline is a very good cab. Very good cab for tramping. Just my opinion, for my comfort, for my own comfort, if I do tramping, I'll prefer this truck. But if we're talking about which truck is my favorite, it is Scania top line. Yeah, that's the truck I prefer, to be honest. Um, also, I like Volvo. Volvo is not very good on fuel, so, but it's very powerful. Again, my opinions on trucks. If you do trunking, However, not trunking or uh, multi-drops. If you do trunking, which is, means you're gonna do uh, depot collections or deliveries, but you don't sleep in the truck. And if you want uh, to have a good uh, consumption of truck, and if you want a m truck which is not the most comfortable truck, but it's in the middle, but it's also very reliable, very good on fuel. I would personally go for MAN or DAF. 
this is a very tight junction so you need to force a little bit as you can see my eyes are always on the mirrors on both mirrors left right always when you drive a truck don't miss the mirrors not for a second even if I'm driving on straight line on motorway is instinct already every few seconds I'm turning my head towards the mirror so I don't know if you can see on the camera but look what's gonna happen here you see I'm with my eyes on the mirror to see what happens how close I'm to the curb so yeah it's a very good truck I like it look for example I'm, I'm loaded with loads of pallets I don't know maybe 50 60 pallets so this hill here I'm, I'm speeding with 33 32 miles as I said it's not the most powerful truck but let's let's bear in mind that I, I have I'll show you when I get to destination how many pallets I've got this is 510 power horses so still if it would be a Scania or a Volvo with these power horses in my opinion will, will pull better maybe the gearbox is different and the differential yeah so I like to drive is one of my hobbies and also I like to drive trucks I like big cars so another thing a lot of drivers don't do it and I don't know why they don't use cruise control me every single occasion I've got I use cruise control I use cruise control now when I'm on a single carriageway is 50 miles per hour so that's the limit for the uh, trucks on a single carriageway so I've got a car behind me who's not very happy about it tough I, uh, I am very uh, strictly on these things is about my safety and others so if this is the limit I'm not gonna go over it because it's very important this for me also even if I don't cause an accident but if Vosa stop me or police stop me they can check about 10 months behind on my digital tachograph so I know I know many things some drivers may comment yeah but you can delete your TAC data from the taco you can I know this I know loads of, I have other friends I can't call them friends but there's other people I know driving trucks and they come with all these tips so look it's coming around the bow I put the retarder on so I'll always have the gear I need without a problem this guy he doesn't think he's done this the same thing on the other roundabout I'm always keeping my lane on the roundabout but he's pushing because he wants to overtake me desperately in a roundabout that's silly so that's another reason I said you always keep your eyes on the mirrors both sides you see in that mirror I have to check for the curb not touch the curb this mirror quickly I checked it was this car so a good driver never miss these things I'm not saying that I'm very good driver but I'm trying my best I'm doing my job uh, I'm a bit of perfectionist as you can see as you know already maybe from my other works in constructions if I'm not happy with the work I did I don't expect others to be happy some customers easy guys was like yeah Adrian it's fine like that don't 
don't uh, take it off and don't redo it. That's all right. I said, no, my friend, I'm not happy about it myself, so I need to redo it. Same in, in, in other things. But the problem is when you drive a truck with so much weight behind you, if you did a mistake, you can't say, oh, let me do it again. <laughs> do you understand? You can't say, let me, oh, sorry, I'm not happy with what I did. I'm gonna go back to the roundabout and I'm gonna do it again. If it's a mistake, a fatal one, you, God forbid, you, you killed somebody or you injured somebody is in a hospital. Can you go back to the previous junction and do it properly this time without any uh, effects? Can you turn back the time? No. So I'm very strictly with the truck to do my job properly, properly. Uh, maybe you're gonna drive night shifts as I am doing it. And uh, you're gonna be tired, very tired. Will be maybe three, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, you need to pay more attention, you know? So now as I start the shift, I'm fine. Now I don't feel any tiredness. We have some cars in front of us, which drive very slowly. Now you don't drive a car, you drive a truck. So you always have to keep distance, even more distance than what I kept here because if it's harsh braking in front of you his car maybe weight two tons two and a half tons some of them not even that but you you maybe have 40 tons 45 48 50 50 is illegal but anyway so I hope I'm not boring, I'm not used to explain how I drive, but there are loads of things. Uh, maybe I don't, I don't remember now to tell you all of them. Um, another very important thing when you drive an Arctic, you don't brake on turnings. If you need to very, very, very softly and uh, if it's wet outside or snow, do not touch the brake when you turn. You have to keep an eye on your speed, so you have the right speed before the turning, because that's when most likely will gonna happen a jackknife. The trailer is very heavy, so when you <clears throat> turn, if you push the brake, the weight of the trailer will push the truck from the fifth wheel and will cause the jackknife. And it's not nice. <laughs> Never happened to me. Uh, yeah, I'm driving trucks for 1998, so 22, 23 years now so I had accidents with the trucks I had two big accidents so I was young I thought like mm, it's nobody like me I thought like I'm somebody now I'm driving a truck <laughs> who's bigger than me just a train and yeah I had I've been I don't believe in luck some people said I've been lucky I had loads of days still to leave because uh, both trucks, both accidents I had in the trucks, I um, I was so close to die. So this was a nice roundabout, but on my way to destination to where I'm gonna tip, actually I'm just gonna drop the trailer and I'm gonna come back solo. So there are some smaller roundabouts actually not not that bad yeah also 
like now that I am pulling a trailer, oh, this guy finally decided to overtake. Yeah, I think he was quite angry behind me, but I can't help. You can't help things like this, so... I've seen other drivers, they did loads of things like crazy. A truck driver pull on the side just to let an angry driver behind him overtake him. No, I'm not gonna do that. If I pull there on the grass now, with the weight I have, I may fall down on the trench. <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna do that. I'm sorry, my purpose is not to create chaos or delays for you, but I'm allowed to be on this road same as you are allowed. Guy. So, yeah. So, as I was saying, uh, I'm pulling a trailer now, I'm a very heavy one, so the truck is, has got quite good stability on the road, but when you drive solo, as I will drive back, uh, the truck is like a rocket, if you push the gas down it will it will go like a racing car <laughs> not really but anyway what I'm trying to say with this your truck then is not so stable as is now so you have to be more careful especially on wet surfaces or snow when you drive solo the axle is pulling the rear axle is very light there's no heavy there's no weight on top of it, all weight is in the front, the cab, the engine, so then it's very easy to lose control if you're not careful. It's quite good truck, you know, it's not gonna, you're not gonna lose control so easy, but what I'm trying to say, you can drive it like you drive it with a trailer. So, we're coming to a roundabout. Another thing happened many times you have to be careful if I stop here and I leave this distance another car will come and come and fit into that gap that's a problem and happens even on a motorway when you keep distance you are trying to keep a safe distance but don't worry there will be another driver who will make sure there's not any more safe distance because he, they even there, I keep distance from me and, and a truck in front of me and he's gonna fit in there, that's crazy so look guys, here I'm talking about can you see in that mirror, I always keep an eye on the curb you have to keep your eyes on the mirrors all the time maybe, I don't know how it's gonna look this video i would never filmed before with a camera on my head <coughs> sorry uh, and maybe gonna look annoying it's moving so much but I always have to see what's happening around me I always know what's behind me always I know if it's a police car behind me if it's an ambulance 
it's really annoying me when I see drivers doesn't they don't stop to make way for the ambulance that's really annoying me and with this occasion I'm gonna I have a message for all guys one day I wish never happened but one day you may be in that ambulance and you may wish that other driver make way for the ambulance to take you as quick as possible to the hospital so this is really annoying when I'm seeing drivers don't make way to police to ambulance I would if I would have authority I would give a law very very strictly in regards to this so yeah as I said I always know what's behind my truck always same when I drive a car you can't be behind me and and without me knowing that you're there well it's gonna be a long video <laughs> It's new for me as well, because I never, as I said, I never filmed uh, like this while I was driving and uh, with a camera on my head. <coughs> but I, I, I guess it would be a nice video. <coughs> Not gonna be long till we get there. So I'm gonna film as well how I open the curtain I don't know if it, anybody would be interested in that but I'm just gonna do it yeah so <clears throat> we are very close to the depot where we're gonna drop the trailer just gonna go off next junction <clears throat> also with the truck you have to be careful like here look what's happening so is a bump exactly in a turning you have to keep an eye on that you're gonna go out here so same here I'm not giving you driving lessons, but I'm telling you what you do. Eyes on the mirror. So, yeah. I have to do something. I don't know why. I have to check camera is still disconnecting from my phone and I'm not sure if it's still recording while it's getting disconnected so I may cut a few bits from this uh, videos because I don't know exactly I'll see when I'm gonna edit the video chance to show you how I reverse into a bay now uh, just by the time I'm gonna open the curtain so this is gonna be very easy because there's not trucks parked up there but I'm gonna uh, show you later as well how I reverse between the trucks if I have the chance if not another night I don't know how busy it's gonna be tonight because it's last day before Easter, last night before Easter, so I don't know if I'll have this chance, but we'll see.
so I don't know how good quality this camera recording in the night so that's why I preferred to do it now because later it's gonna be dark so I don't know exactly how how well this camera is filming in the dark <sighs> one more roundabout and we're gonna be there I don't know about you, I don't know about other drivers, but I have a um, habit when I'm getting close to the place, raining, snowing, sunny, I always open the window. I don't know why, it's a habit. I need to hear what's happening outside. Also, I don't understand when drivers drive their trucks with headphones in both their, ear, their ears. I cannot understand that. I need to hear what happening. Maybe it's somebody next to my truck and I don't see him and he's shouting. So we are here. I need to drive with the hazard on. So as I said, this is going to be easy. Because usually there on the left there are trucks parked. So I'm just gonna stop a little bit so I'm gonna reverse in here so uh, this time I'm just gonna make it easier always try for the easiest thing so I drive here lines there that barely can be seen you can take get your head out if you want out the window to have a look but I'm gonna do it like this and another thing if you're not happy with the way you reversed that's not a shame to go forward some drivers want to do it from the first yeah sometimes it's working from the first time sometimes no that's okay you know when you're a new driver you're most likely to do it from the first time because maybe you pay more attention but through the years when you got experience you don't pay too much attention and sometimes it's not gonna work from the first time that's okay just drive forward and then make it as you want to be that's the mark all right all right guys let's open the curtain yeah it might be boring for you guys this to watch this so all the trailers Windy or not, I need to open the curtain. They are very old curtains, very old. Every driver complains about them. But I'm not gonna say much about it, I'm just gonna do my job. It's easy to complain 
If you want to complain, you can always complain about everything. So, let's just do our jobs. my head with the camera because <laughs> I'm not used to it Nearly done. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in and drop the trail. Just need my glasses. So again, eyes on the mirrors. The doors are very, very, not very narrow, but you have to be careful, you know? So, Look, look what is going to happen there, you see? This mirror, and look the other mirror. I'm, I may sound like I'm scared, I'm not scared, I'm just trying to explain, I'm used to it, to this. It's very easy for me. So, you see these lines here barely can be seen. Here I'm gonna drop my trailer. Yeah.
they're building a new rocks there so I guess I need to leave some space there Yes, that's it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go down and disconnect the trailer. So I've been asked to do a favor to move a trailer. So this would be a good chance to show you something. If the trailer is empty, then I'm not gonna connect any cable. We're gonna use shunting mode. So, I'll see now this trailer, I need to move it from here. looks empty to me yeah so it's good that it's like this because I'm gonna show you something when you have an empty trailer and you need to move it first thing I'm just going to check if the fifth wheel is connected yeah it is so now I don't need to put any cables in because it's empty So I'm just going to lift the legs a little bit, we don't want to drag them on the floor. Okay, uh, this is not my trailer, not our company, so... Trailer has a brake press but every trailer is different so it might be here in the back uh -huh. that's interesting and this trailer doesn't it's impossible not to have they are here so right this trailer brake we press it down and this is shunting now there's no more brakes on the trailer Okay, but if the trailer is loaded, you need to put the red airline in because you need brakes on the trailer. So, we'll just that noise ah nice there's a concrete piece on the floor that scared me that really scared me to be honest I thought I did something wrong which is not because I'm proud but I'm usually careful so can you see that is a piece of concrete there on the floor so that was that noise So the suspension is lifted, I think I'm gonna need to do it again one more time, front. Just let him pass. Yes, yeah, so I lifted the suspension and the legs are lifted. Now before we drop the legs back down, once we reversed into the position we want to, uh, 
I'm gonna level the suspension first. Good. So, Mercedes have this one here, which when you press it, it's gonna level the suspension now. Yeah, that's it. So now we pull all this back again. Fifth wheel, you don't touch it. First, we put the legs back down. We're gonna disconnect the fifth wheel. That's it. I'm happy I could show you this. So no, no cable required here. That's that. That us done. And here. So Now we're gonna drive solo, as I said. gonna stop this video now I think will be enough for one video just gonna go out here and I'm going to stop filming so as you can see in the mirror in here I don't have any trailer now Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'm gonna come back with few more videos about Mercedes, about this truck, about what I'm doing. All the best to you guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.